Bobby Nogi is a fantasy uh, MMORPG. Um, the unique thing about Bobby Nogi is that it's not an MMO that's based on classes. It's actually an MMO where you develop your character, th character through uh, gaining skills, aging, and then rebirthing your character and reincarnating. Um, so we're not really pegged to one class per se. It's uh, you're, you're gathering more and more skills and developing your character in that way. So you can kind of imagine you age up, you learn a lot of skills up your life, but as you get older, it's difficult to learn these skills or develop these skills. When Mabinogi first hit the scene, it was a unique MMORPG with a lot to offer. Coining the phrase, your fantasy life, Mabinogi was a game where you could work on life skills, own a house, farm, work part-time jobs, build relationships with NPCs, albeit on a surface level, and watch your character actively grow in age as you explore this fantasy world, and then rebirth and do it all over again. Mabinogi was, and still remains to this day, a very unique MMORPG that has elements still not seen in other games. From its free and open combat system all the way down to its anime-inspired aesthetic, it's no surprise that Mabinogi would inspire so many people to create art and videos around this MMO. And that's what we're going to explore in this video. What is a fantasy life to you? The beautiful thing about online games, specifically MMOs, is the fact that there are these worlds these shared spaces parallel to our own, where we can tell our own stories, go on adventures, make friends, find love, form rivalries, guilds. MMOs are amazing. If you found this video, then chances are, you're a black sheep like me, looking for that very same answer. What is a fantasy life to you? To the fans out there watching, what fans? Yep, that awkward little kid? That's me, Lil Baby Mobby Nerd, in a video that's just as old, if not older, than YouTube itself. That was my first time appearing in a video on camera, to my knowledge, and spoiler alert, it would not be my last, as you probably can already tell. My first steps into the Mabinogi scene, believe it or not, was not under the name Mobby Nerd but a cringy side channel that I don't want to share with you guys right now. But this is my first video, Mobbin Owned Geek. I wouldn't go on to create Mobby Nerd until a year after this came out. Onimori, Tokimeki, Boogie Woogie, Kotobuki, Mobby Nogi, Tanchiki, Aikagi, Takipoki, Sengeki, Mobby Nogi, Tamanegi, Zarigani, Sukedachi, Boroshichi, Mobby Nogi, Mobby Nogi. Bokeng Garu, Sekats Garu, Honobono Ke Murion Online RPG, Mobby Nogi. Yarisuki. Online Game on Exo. In the early days of Mabinogi for me, it was really a creative outlet for me to experiment with making videos using a game as its medium. Because Mabinogi had an in-game recording feature that opened so many doors for me uh, to edit stuff. But I've already shared that story. What I didn't share is that a lot, if you look at my earlier characters uh, in the skits and stuff on Mobby Nerd, you'll notice that uh, they're not black. And that's because uh, you'll see multiple characters, three specific ones that popped up a lot, and they were just that, characters. I was all in on Mobby Nerd as a character. Mobby Nerd wasn't meant to be me, but rather this like dorky, goofy, mischievous character in the game that just always got into trouble. But as time would go on, my main character would change, and another side character from another side series would end up kind of becoming my main dude. And as the years would go on, I would slowly make him more like me. The character became black. I changed his name when name change finally became available. Oh, what light through yonder a window breaks? Tis the east, and Juliet is the bread and butter. Mate, ain't nobody here named Juliet. You got the wrong house. Now be it. Impossible. So I'm gonna stand here and protest peacefully until you allow us to make with the marrying of the baby. You fucking vandal! I just my mind not worth it. Bye! I wouldn't say Mobby Nerd was a calculated character, but he was definitely a character down to his goofy voice and the way he talked like this, all the way to the songs and all the goofy things that I'd sing about. But 
Over time, I kind of grew into my own character, my own person. Mobby Nerd became less of this character and more just me doing stuff in real life. I became Mobby Nerd, and it was around that time that I dropped the from the name. It wasn't a story about Mobby Nerd, the channel became me. I'm not the Mobby Nerd, I'm just Mobby Nerd. That's the weirdest rant I've ever gone on, but I, I hope it makes sense. If you were to ask me what my fantasy life meant to me, I would say it meant growing from being this goofy character into just expressing myself through videos and sharing these adventures and stories with you. Becoming Mobby Nerd was my fantasy life. He was my fantasy character, and it's just been wild to see where that's gone and how that's changed. I sometimes wonder if people realize the effects creatives can have on the game industry. Videos, art, and music do a lot to not only introduce new people to a given game, but also entertain those who actively play it. This is especially true for MMORPGs. I want you to think back to the first video you ever watched about an MMO and tell me if it convinced you to try it. If your game can inspire people to create media around it, it's generally considered a win for everyone. I think I'd have to use this, but you forced me to! My super secret weapon! You're not gonna pull Zack out of your butt, are you? No. Something better. The ultimate summon! This summon's so powerful, Moogles quiver at the thought! Oh no! It's the Ragamogabalabalabaladoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodoodood
or just a funny looking quirky dude. And that's what it is for me. Being able to envision any persona that I want and become it. I honestly, you know, I didn't think it was an actual job. Um, I've been planning events for like fashion groups that I'm a part of IRL and stuff like that, but I didn't necessarily think it was a real deal until I started actually thinking <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> it means finding what fits your style in both the game and the real world. And I do mean fashion, mainly. <laughs> For me, Nabinogi has played a huge cornerstone in my life. When I was growing up, I was the shyest thing, like painfully shy. I couldn't introduce myself, I was too nervous to share my hobbies, and I didn't feel comfortable just letting people know who I was. But it never stopped me from doing acts of kindness. If someone needed a pencil, I always gave them away without a second thought and told them they didn't have to give it back. My mom didn't like that one bit. <laughs> we had to buy a lot of pencils. Um, so I use Mabby as like my gateway of planning things, planning events, whether that be in-game or outside of a game. Um, if it wasn't for Mabby, I honestly wouldn't have learned the skills of becoming an event coordinator and becoming friends with the friends I have now. Um, shout out to Mara. <laughs> Love you. The closest friends that I had knew that I loved to draw art, and they knew I could do funny voices. But I never wanted to share my characters or anything like that with them, because I was shy about how they would feel about me. So afraid to be myself. Then one day, Mabinogi was introduced to me by a close friend. My computer could barely run it. There were texture issues and lag galore. But I loved the game so much, I kept coming back for more. The interesting thing is that when I started playing Mabinogi, I didn't pretend to be anyone else. I actually got to be more like myself. I didn't feel nervous approaching someone if they needed a helping hand. And I was always happy to guide them in the right way and helping someone out with a quest or two. Make the experience so much better, and that's the beauty in it. A fantasy life to me is a home within a home. What a loaded question to ask. What does a fantasy life mean to me? Though I started to play Mabinogi back in middle school, I was always kind of a bit of a chameleon when it came to life. I was really good at floating in between groups, just kind of fitting in everywhere all at once, making tons of friends. Coming home after school every day, logging into Mabinogi, it allowed me to be myself a little bit more than usual than what I would have been in real life. I was able to be a little bit more honest, express my real opinions on things, show my true self. And that rang more true whenever I hit high school. I began getting tattoos, I stretched my ears, and everyone was always kind of looking at me like, this is very out of character for him, but it was really who I was. And logging into Mabinogi every day, people, people didn't see that side of me, they didn't know. It was just my pure and honest self that they were reacting to. Not appearances, not judgments based on, oh my god, this guy has like 80 tattoos, what a weirdo. But instead, they were reacting to my personality, which kind of bled into the fantasy life. Every day logging in, I never knew what I was going to get up to. Was I going to raid a dungeon? Was I going to harvest some wheat? Was I going to sit around a campfire talking to friends? Was I going to help them milk cows? I would spend hours just sitting around talking to my friends in game and not actually accomplishing something. So if I had to sum up what a fantasy life meant to me, it would be a game where people accepted you for who you are and not what you looked like. You're truly free to create your own life in this game and that is one of the best things about Mabinogi. Do you want to be known as a guy who exclusively sells milk and milks one cow and abuses it? Or do you want to be known as the greatest warrior of all time who can take down any monster in one shot? The choice is up to you. That is the best part about Mabinogi. The interesting thing about Mabinogi to me is the fact that people still actively create art and media around the game, in spite of it not being nearly as popular as it once was. 
It's honestly proof that the people this game inspired to create do so out of passion. That alone is pretty special. In my case, even outside of the game, Mabinogi has been a medium that allowed me to practice my videography. Creating short stories and IRL sketches with my friends has always been a joy, and much to my surprise, has somehow become moments that some players from this community have grown up watching. It's, it's kind of weird, but also kind of cool. If you're truly passionate about something, you can make a big wave, even in a small community. And you might be surprised to find that that community isn't as small as you think it was. Abby might not be the biggest MMO. I haven't really found anything quite like it. Its whole motto is that it's your fantasy life, and I think that's what makes it so fascinating. If you want to play through the story and get engrossed in the lore and explore the world that's in front of you, you can do that. Or if you want to challenge the strongest enemies in dungeons and get the coolest gear, of course you can. But even if you just want to sit with your friends or listen to some bards performing at concert or decorate your homestead and dress up in your favorite outfits, there's nothing stopping you. You don't have to do everything. You can just enjoy the parts that you like, make the game into what you want it to be, into what you want to do. To me, I guess my fantasy life is getting to share and participate in just how creative this community is. I'm an artist by trade, so being able to express my love for something that I care so deeply about, it means a lot. Just seeing how talented and imaginative everybody is, it's, it's really inspiring. So all these community events hosted by people who just want to breathe life into this game that they love, and to all the musicians sharing their music that they work so hard on, or to the artists, the content creators, drawing and crafting and writing and weaving all these stories into this game. To anybody just sharing even the smallest part of themselves. A moment of expressing yourself creatively and having fun. I think that's what makes Mabby so special. Hey! Hey, what's up? You look like some sort of Mabinogi player. I know a thing or two about Mabinogi. Do you know something about some Mabi meetup happening here today at Anime Expo? You know, I might know somebody that can help you out. Let's go find them. Let's go. Let's prance together. Yeah, party up. Yo, Discord. Hey, hey guys. Uh, why are you guys doing here? Yo, we're looking for the Mavi meetup. This is the rooftop. Why are you guys here? I, how did we get to a rooftop? Uh, okay, I'll show you guys where the Mavi meetup is. Come on, follow me. This is the Mavi meetup? You guys are a long way from that. Do you know where it's at? I got a rocket. Let's go. Cool. Hey, what are you doing what here? Going? What are you guys doing here, Foreman? Cobweb. Cobweb. Yeah, okay, meeting's important. We got a mob meeting to go to. Let's get out of here. With every fandom comes cosplayers, people so passionate about their community that they craft elements of it and bring it to life. Mabinogi is no exception. There are plenty of people within the Mabinogi community who have taken the time to craft the perfect cosplay. And this makes me wish there were more personalized events where people could bring their cosplays out and really let them shine. Now I've been to a lot of conventions both in America and beyond, and I will admit, Mabinogi cosplayers are few and far between at these events. They are out there. The largest gathering of Mabinogi cosplayers I've ever seen still goes to Campfire, a really special event that I really feel like we need to bring back. Like, seriously, let's talk about Campfire. 
Campfire was a specialized, very personal Mabinogi event that came at the right time. At a time where a lot of people thought the fate of the game was uncertain. Server populations were at an all-time low, and people just really thought that this was the end of Mabinogi. Campfire was an event that really put those fears to rest and announced a lot of big changes that would come to Mabinogi, including Blanid and the server merges. It was very important to hear from the dev team themselves that they are still actively supporting Mabinogi and that there were no intentions of shutting the game down in North America. This event was a celebration of all things Mabinogi, bringing elements of the game to life from mini games, environments, NPCs, and even the music from the game being played in the background. It was really special. With the standout moment, in my opinion, being the OX quiz, it translates surprisingly well into real life and hilariously ended with practically the entire room being eliminated off of a single question. It was definitely a moment to remember. Guess what? There's two people left standing right now. Oh my god. So, I love y'all, but you just. In my personal opinion, an annual Mabinogi event isn't a bad idea. Even if it starts out with a small turnout, these are things that grow over time. And giving Mabinogi players who create cosplay from the game, or even just people in general who enjoy the game, a place to meet up and just celebrate the game once a year is good for everyone. This is the perfect space to announce new changes and hype everyone up for what's to come. This is a great space for players who play Mabinogi to meet up with each other in real life to mutually celebrate the game that they enjoy. You would see actual guild reunions happen, like right before your eyes. People who've played the game together for years meeting for the first time. And if campfires proved anything, it's this. People are in fact willing to travel over states to come to a mutual event to celebrate Mabinogi. So I say to you, Nexon, consider this humble request from a lowly soul streamer. If someone's watching this video that can make this happen, please, please consider it, even if it's not free. If I can help in any way, my DMs are always open. And to you, dear viewer, here's where you do your part you have to make it known that you want another campfire. Talk about it on the Discord servers, in the forums, in the game. Anywhere you can, you have to let it be known that this is something that you would want to go to, that a campfire two or three or four is something that you would support into the future. That's it, I'm getting off my soapbox on that one. Campfire two, that ball is in your court. So please slam dunk it. A fantasy life for me has always been this sense of familiarity in a completely other world. There were places I could visit in the game and remember moments of my real life. It's really no different to any other life experience when it comes to inspiring creativity, and what Mabinogi made me realise is that fantasy inspires reality as much as reality inspires fantasy. So, I mean this in the best way possible. Mabinogi has honestly ruined like pretty much every other MMORPG I've tried to play. There's just so many different like little features and systems that are in this game that just set it apart from everything else that's out there on the market. Um, it's crazy to think that like this game that originally released in 2004 has just all these different things that even new games that are coming out in the past few years are still struggling with. Um, I would say this idea of the fantasy life is kind of, it's this idea that you're not just this like super overpowered badass, but also you're someone who's living a life within this world. And the, the best representation of that is the game's life skills. Um, it's, the game is just like super immersive. Um, there's a lot of very subtle ways and also some more in your face ways that this game just accomplishes this level of immersion that a lot of other games don't have. Like one of them, for example, is the NPC relationship mechanics. Like you can talk to the NPCs about different stuff. Uh, you can give them gifts and they'll actually like remember that. And they might give you access to like a secret store. Probably on the more subtle side is kind of the way that the skills work. The game really encourages you to interact with like all the different systems that are there. 
in just some really clever ways. Um, and then I guess last is just the amount of customization you have for your character. Uh, one of the jokes that I heard was that Fashion OG is the end game. You know, I kind of asked somebody like, hey, what's, how do you get to the end game in this game? Like, what, what's, what's the deal? What level do I have to get to? How many, what should my stats look like? You know, what should my skills look like? And they're just like, oh, there is no end game. Fashion OG is the end game. <laughs> So a fantasy life to me is just one that involves just bringing joy to people, um, whether it be through content that I make either at work or personally. Also, being a musician, just making songs and introducing them out to the world. My fantasy life is being yourself, being around the ones you love, playing games with your friends, and you know, just having a good time. I think it's about being who you want to be, get out there and do what you want to do without caring about what anyone says. When it comes to Mabinogi, I like to think of it like this. The community is the heart. The art makes up the body, and music is the soul of this game's community. An old story from Grandma is literally this game's anthem, and I promise you, if you look deep enough, you will find many, many renditions of this song. Now, there are plenty of MMORPGs that implement a musical element into their gameplay, but very few have such a strong culture around the musical element like Mabinogi does. You'll see stages all over Aaron. Musical concerts pop up all the time, and they're really fun. I actually went to one recently, and it was, in fact, a blast. The culture around making, sharing, and playing music for others 
is such a immersive element of Mabinogi that it goes beyond just the game itself. And that's why I feel like the musical element of Mabinogi is a standout feature that really is one of a kind when it comes to Mabinogi. It embodies that feeling of hanging around a campfire with your friends on an adventure and playing songs and telling stories. It creates an opportunity for talented people to really express themselves in and out of the game. And I'm not sure there'll ever be another MMO that really captures that the way Mabinogi does. As niche as it may be, it is truly a one of a kind thing. Hello everyone! Hello Palace! Hello Palace! Uh, I'm, I am a Lo Zhen Zhen uh, and I'm a Mabinogi player and making YouTube video uh, as a uh, act, acting, uh, acting as a YouTuber in Korea in Korea, playing Korea server. I am introduced from Mavi Nerd and he suggested me about making video for for the Mavi Nogi and he questioned to me about uh, what you love about Mavi Nogi. Oh yeah, what I, what I love about Mavi Nogi, what, sorry, what I love for about Mavi Nogi and well, there's so many so many reasons to I love the Mabinogi. As you know, uh, first as you know, in Korea Mabinogi 
now this 2024 is 20 any 20th anniversary so it's very huge anniversary in korea mabinogi uh, and i really used to love the mabinogi and play the mabinogi mm, well the answer about the why i love the mabinogi is it's my really entire life game you know the life game because it's very different between game and life as you know the game is just for playing and for fun but uh it, the mabinogi is my life all of my life because uh, i'm uh, i playing it I, I play it from my uh, elementary school mm. oh no 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 sorry it's a uh, middle school from middle school and it was my fun and great memory of game of game from the mabinogi mm. and that and and the mabinogi make me very fun memory and very happy memory from when i was school child uh, and have very, have, have very good memories and many friends that the kinds of things make me happy mm, and the another the another reason to love mabinogi is um, so many things, so many things. As you know, the as you know is uh, music or peoples, but most of all, most of all is a reason about the people who play the mabinogi, uh, from communicate with them and play with them. It makes me very happy. Memory uh, was very happy. Mm. Uh, it's now twenty. 20th anniversary in Korea, Mabinogi, and this day I, I you, actually this day uh, is a little bit, a little bit, um, I'll just pass. Um, well, we have a very great, huge parade party on this January, March, April, May, June, June, June in Korea. It's called the Fantasy Party and it's an offline party for every Mabinogi player, Malaysians in Korea, Seoul. So I will go there too and I will enjoy the Mabinogi party anniversary and I will keep love the Mabinogi too. Uh, the people who play the Mabinogi and who communicate with me and play with me, the friends, is it makes me love and like the mabinogi that's my answer have a great day and have a good day thank you bye bye Engaging with the Mabinogi's creative community has taken me to places I never thought I'd end up. From Japan, Canada, and hopefully in the future, Korea. That's the coolest thing about MMORPGs is they can connect you to people from all over the world, really just dropping borders all together and looking forward into Project Eternity. The biggest news to drop is that Mabinogi is getting a complete revamp, and I've made a couple of videos on this topic already, but to summarize it, basically consider it a huge facelift, the whole new look and feel to this old MMO being remade in the Unreal Engine with updates that are well documented on their own site that I'll link in the description. For many people in this game's community, the news of Project Eternity is a dream come true. To see the game that they know and love in a new light brought up to modern standards is all they could ever ask for. If you were a longtime player who's just curious about the state of the game now, 
I'd say now is the best time to get back into the game. And if you're new and never heard of Mabinogi, well, I'm glad you made it this far into the documentary, and I hope that you'll give our MMO a try. The world of Aaron is many things. Welcoming to creative minds, or people who just want to kick back and chill and make some friends. I hope you find what you're looking for in Mabinogi. Hello, dear Malaysians. We've reached the end of our journey, but I hope that we've answered the question, what is a fancy life to you? Mabinogi is an interesting MMO. There's really nothing quite like it. So if you're new, I urge you to give it a try and tell me what you think. And if you're an old player who's already heard of Mabinogi, but quit for some time, well, now's the best time to come back. To everyone who submitted videos, clips, stories for this documentary, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. But with that, I think it's time to bid you all farewell. Here's to an attorney, Mabinogi. more I wish I could share with you all. So many stories I wish I could tell. If money were no object, I'd take you all on an adventure with me around the world, meeting more players who love this MMO. For many years I've made videos around Mabinogi, shaping my whole identity around this very game. A big chunk of my life I spent playing Mabinogi. Many of you have seen me grow through my videos. If life is a story, then I would like to turn a page onto a new chapter at this point and I don't know what that holds. Truth be told, I'm really uncertain about it. But despite that all, I'm beyond grateful for all the support that this community has shown me. The Mabinogi team has been so receptive of my obsessive videos around the MMO, and so has the community, to the point where I felt accepted during a time when I truthfully didn't feel like I fit in anywhere else. And I'm sure there are many other people in this community who feel the same way. I don't know what tomorrow holds, or if I'll even be there tomorrow. But I do know this. No matter the medium you use to express yourself, know that what you put out there is your footprint, and it's there for eternity, for others to discover. Whether one person sees it, or a thousand people see it, or a million, know that what you did is always there, and be proud of that. Never be afraid to express yourself. Mabinogi is a community full of truly talented people, so much so that I could never hope to fit it all into a single video, no matter how long. So once again, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to the Mabinogi community for giving me a chance to express myself and joining me on these goofy adventures. I'm Mobby Nerd, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. 
outlaws, I'm gunning. If you see me coming, don't try running. Let me tell you something. I'm bringing law to this land. Fill your eyes with that sand. When it bursts, leave you blind. I'm the worst. I'm an alchemist. You don't test me. Got the original gap on my wrist. Hear that click? You won't exist. When I flow like water, hit hard like a cannon. Make you fight a flame burst. Make it hotter. Stand up. It's an honor because I'm bringing you down like a pal. Your life flashed in a bit. That's a critical hit. They stay stacked. That's a theory, not a query. Hear that? And let's roll. I'ma charge right through your bullet rush.